Okay, this is a shower pan slope, pre-slope, that went wrong. There was not enough slope put on the back side of this shower pan to get proper drainage. And uh, I had a guy that did this, and he didn't know enough about what he was doing, obviously. And uh, so I'm going to have to fix it, and I'm going to show you how. All right, I've got... This level is too long to go across, okay? So I have a straight edge here, just a piece of wood that I know is level, okay? So I'm going to take this little level here, all right? And if I lay it across here, you can see that bubble is in the center. It does not belong in the center. I get the lighting right, all right? There's not enough drain, not enough on there to drain. So, let's take this and bring this up. All right, now, now let's check the level, the bubble. Okay. We can bring this down because we want it to be about half a bubble. All right. If it goes all the way back, that's fine. All right, so I'm going to mark the wall over here. All right, that's up. I've got about, oh, three-eighths of an inch or so here. I'm going to mark that, and then I'm going to show you what to do next. Okay, we've marked the wall. There's the mark. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to level across. And what do I mean by that? I'm going to take my level, okay, I'm going to stick it here, all right, I'm going to bring this right down to that edge, and then over here, I'm going to bring this up, bring this into a level over here, all right, right there, okay, Get it right there, it's level. All right, you see the bubble? Right there. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to level across. I'll show you that next. Now, before we get into marking across, leveling across the back wall, I want to show you why this represents the river rock floor okay it's right here at the drain edge all right so if I take my straight edge and I put it on top all right let, let's see let, let's take a look here at the bubble Okay, now let's look at this. See, the bubble is actually in the opposite direction. That's level. Okay. And so if we have a, that, that's decent. Or a half a bubble. Okay. And so now we're going to level across. Okay, now hopefully... Um, You'll be able to see okay. I won't be able to, I won't be blocking too much of what's going on. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I can level across at this point or we'll level up. All right. And so let's level up, level across. Okay. Bear with me. All right, now this is where you gotta kind of get down here on the level when you can see. All right. Okay. Now I'm blocking everything, I do believe. 
Okay. So, we come over here. You drop it down. Get your pencil underneath here and you level across. All right, you get your level. Here, all right. And you bring it. Okay. All right. Now I have my line marked here. No, let me here. All the way across, and now I know where to bring my thin set. Okay, now I'm going to go into a time lapse and uh, you'll be able to see what it is. Okay, the process I'm going to use. Stay tuned. I look forward to hearing from you. Haven't liked? Like? If you haven't subscribed? Subscribe. Make sure you ring the bell and you'll get all my uploads. All right. Looking forward to hearing from you. Okay, we're gonna go into time lapse. Okay, now unfortunately, there is no slow motion on this camera. All right, so next is grouting the rock, putting in the sprayers, these are just plugs here on the wall. All right. And uh, this is custom made, custom sprayed. I sprayed this and uh, it will go over here where that pipe is at now. This will take its place. And I custom sprayed this and I have a video showing you how I did this. Okay, you have to go down in my videos to find it at this point. Uh, maybe I'll try to get a link of this video showing you how to do that. So, all right, we're moving forward. It's about time. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, like, share. And uh, look forward to hearing from you. And never give up because there's always a way. Bye for now. Bye. Okay. Time to break out this thin set between these river rocks. In my shower pan here and uh, show you how I'm doing it <clears throat> as we continue this process all right here we go I get set up all right Okay, zoom in a bit. Zoom in a bit. Okay. Let's 
see if we what we can what we have here. All right, here we go. Now I'm taking just a screwdriver, a chisel, or a flat tip. All right, and I'm just kind of working it around the edges of these rocks to break it loose. Okay, because the grout's got to go in here. All right, if I left that in there. Then I would have just a very slight covering, you know, there, there wouldn't be much grout getting down in here between the rocks. And when you're doing these river rocks, you definitely want your grout to get down in here between them. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do after this, I'm going to take a vacuum cleaner, my wet and dry vac, and I'm going to Vacuum out all this before I put in my thin set. Okay. And, uh, and I'm not pounding very hard, as you can tell. All right, that's why there's not much noise. There isn't much noise at all coming from this. All right. As I uh, continue to get down in here. All right, this is what I'm doing. I'm just carefully, slowly, just kind of breaking this out. Okay, so I have room for grout. Um, the river rock is going to take quite a bit of grout, actually, unfortunately, which is how it goes. But the grout, you know, gives it some contrast. And if you were to darken the grout um, or lighten the grout, then it would stand out even more. But I would say darken, darker grout would... I'm just going to use a tan, the same thing that's on these walls in this shower. And uh, I'm going to... It's, it, it ought to stand out fairly nice. Fairly well, look pretty nice. Fairly nice. <laughs> it holds stand out pretty well, and I think it'll look pretty nice. Just the grout design, between as it runs round and through, and these rocks, it's gonna look pretty cool within itself. Apart from all the contrast between the different colors of the rocks and the different shapes and. I mean, that's the beauty of using the river rocks. You know, you got contrast on top of some contrast. And uh, so, makes it nice. All right, so the Tenth Amendment really clarifies. Um, the rights of the government or rights they don't have that they take the liberty to abuse unfortunately because most people they know don't know it there's quite a few of them within the White House within the political party governmental hold offices that don't really know the Constitution we expect them to know it because we don't know we believe they know it uh, they might know it a little better than the average person maybe maybe depending on but from what I'm learning uh, not all of them very few of them do and um, they don't understand it like they should and nor do they want to because the Constitution limits the government and they don't want to be limited, so they choose to be ignorant. Now, they tell us ignorance is no excuse. Um, we need to hold them to the same accountability that we're held to. And uh, like I keep saying here, we need to put in motion all presidents must study and know the Constitution before stepping into office, before, while they're, really they should be studying it before, the, well, before they run for presidency. And they consider running for presidency. Um, just as a concerned American, they should be learning a constitution. Just because they're a concerned